Hello guys, today in this video I wanted to go through how I research and plan out video ideas here on YouTube and also how I find new video ideas through the keyword research that you do. I call this procedure research, validate, and plan. So stick around to the end of this video and I'll share with you exactly how I plan for a video and exactly how I created this video. So what does this help you do? This will help you either first start to rank in search or second, it'll help you start to rank in the first search results spot, which is the most coveted spot that everybody tries to get. Stay tuned for another video that I'm gonna link up here. In this video, I'm gonna go through some of my best performing videos and show how I got the first Google search results spot. And this has led me to get tens of thousands of extra views on my videos and grow my channel faster than I thought that it would grow. So hit subscribe if you want to stay tuned to see that video when it's ready. Now let's get back into this video. There's two different ways you can go about this research, plan, and validation process. You can either have a general topic and then do keyword research on that general topic, or you can do what I do and do keyword research first, and then find a video to talk about and intertwine that video in with other videos that will perform well together. Essentially, you want to conduct research, then you want to validate your research findings, and then after that you just need to plan how to merge all of these findings together into a YouTube video and hypothetically get massive results on your YouTube channel. So there are a few things that you can control to try to get your video to perform well, and there are a couple of things that you can't control when trying to get a video to perform well. So quickly, let's go through those. The things that you can't control are things like the videos that your viewers have watched in the past, their searches on YouTube, their past interactions with videos, things like thumbs up, subbing for specific topics, disliking the video, commenting, etc. And the final thing that you can't control is if you are going to be getting shown on the sidebar on the side of videos or if you're going to show up on somebody's homepage. The things that you can control are your keywords that you're going to target in a specific video. You can somewhat improve audience retention rate and you can control how and when you use keywords in a video so that way those keywords that you speak show up and help you rank in search. So most of these big gurus will tell you that keyword research doesn't matter for YouTube because tags don't play a role or they play a minimal role in the development of a YouTube channel, but tags and keywords are two things that are similar sounding but they're actually a lot different in practice. So tags help YouTube know what your video is about and play a minimal role in the ranking of a video. Tags can be keywords and keywords can be tags. It's all just how you apply the words into the YouTube video. That'll determine if it's a keyword or a tag. So what are keywords, I imagine you're asking. Keywords are the words or phrases in the video title, the description, and spoken words in the video that play a major role in the ranking of a video. This can also be stated as these are informative words or phrases that represent the significant as well as the content of a video. So essentially, if you put these into the tags section, then these are tags. But if these words or phrases are anywhere else in the YouTube video back office, such as in the title, the description, any captions, then these are keywords. Also, one thing to keep in mind is YouTube now auto captions videos. So this means that they convert your audio from your video into written text. So YouTube knows exactly what your YouTube video is about. They know every single word that was spoken in the YouTube video and how many times each word was spoken. And this is how they can determine what videos rank for what keywords. I actually found the idea for the video you're watching right now when I was looking to make another video and I realized that that other video would be a much too long video to make if I were to include this video inside of that video. So that's why I've split this up into separate videos. So as you can see here, the keyword that I was looking for was how to find keywords for YouTube videos. This only gave me a 32% score with TubeBuddy. It says that there's not very high search volume. There's also medium amount of competition. So let's click over here where it says click here for weighted and it'll bring up this keyword explorer. And now I can see the unweighted and weighted, which they're the same. They're not usually the same, but for this result, they are the same. And we can see that Catherine Manning is the top ranking in the search for this keyword, this long tailed keyword, and that there are two exact matches in the top results. Also, there's 5.46 million videos. Here are some of the other videos. So from here, uh, if I go back to the first page, I can see that they have all of these related searches off to the side for YouTube videos 2022. 
So let's click on that one, see what that one has a score of. Ooh, that is way better. There, so there's a medium amount of search volume. There's also less competition and the chance for optimization of a video is really great for it to rank first. As you can see now, there's no related searches because this is such a long tailed keyword that it's so niched down into a specific topic that there are no other search results for it. So now that I have this, that's already excellent. Let me try something else like how to find video keywords for video ideas. So that one's good, has really high search volume, a little bit more competition than I would like, but does have a good overall optimization. Also, the average view for the videos with this search term or this long tailed keyword is 66,000. So if your video was to get the same or average amount uh, as the other videos, then that would mean that that video would get 66,000 views. Um, so that could grow your channel significantly. So all I'm going to do here is add in YouTube. So how to find video keywords for YouTube video ideas. And look at that. This one is excellent. So it's higher weighted score than the other one. It also has a really high amount of search volume. The competition is way less than the other search terms. So that's great. And optimization is really good as well. And it's still at that average of 66,000 but this time there's 11.7 million videos. So I feel like this is going to be the best option that I'm gonna find. And when you clicked on this video, you probably saw that this is what the video is actually titled. That's completely on purpose because this is the best, highest ranking keyword that I found. And now I can start to look into additional keywords that need to show up into the video for the video to perform well with that keyword as well. So as you can see the related searches, there's two of them how to search keywords for YouTube videos, and also how to find YouTube video keywords. So that's exactly what I'm gonna go through right now as the last part of this video. And now you can see that I've spoken these inside of this YouTube video, and I'm gonna go over them in a minute, so they're gonna be spoken more times, which means that I'm gonna rank more for that video because I am saying these words in a natural way that makes sense in the video. Keyword stuffing will not work if I just sit there and say the same thing over and over and over. The algorithm will know exactly what you're trying to do and they will probably penalize you for that. So now let's go through how to find the keywords based off of a specific topic opportunity that you have. You'll want to start with the highest level thing that you're looking to target, search it, and then find what people actually search into YouTube and that'll be your keywords that you'll use. So if you don't have TubeBuddy, uh, you can totally download it in the description below. If you use my link, you'll be directly helping my YouTube channel. That way I can create more content quicker and it'll have no additional cost to you. You'll still be able to get the $2.40 a month TubeBuddy plan. So thank you if you do decide to use my link, I'll put it down in the description below. Now you might be wondering what to do if you don't have TubeBuddy. So this is going to be how to search keywords for YouTube videos. Essentially, the first thing you're going to do is go over to YouTube and click the little top bar, the search bar at the top, and you're going to type in the first thing that you can think of of what you're trying to target. As you can see here, if I type in video keywords, the first result is TikTok, second one is YouTube. That means TikTok is searched the most, YouTube is the second one. You can do things like video keywords A, so videos about keywords, B, best practices by color business, C, video tags, copy. So as you can see, this can really help you find video ideas that you're looking for. Let's just try gig economy, apps, jobs, full-time, jobs 2021, explained. So all of these are good things. And then we could do like apps or what I usually do when I'm creating gig work videos is Walmart, Spark, delivery, and then driver pay. Oh wait, let's remove these. So Walmart Spark delivery, driver pay, driver sign up tutorial, how to. So you can just play around with YouTube like this. This is a really easy way to do it. And then once you find a good video idea like this one, let's click into here. These are, this is the first video that shows up, 448,000 views, 63,000 views, 142,000 views and then it drops off, except for driver Mike. 
And you can see that there's a fair amount of search volume for this search query and the competition isn't too bad. So overall, if you were to create this video, it would probably perform well. And if you were to make your YouTube video titled Walmart Spark Delivery Driver Pay, then you could probably beat this first result and be the first result and probably get that 448,000 views. So this will be interesting. I want to see if I can actually outrank this video. I'll probably do that in another at another time down the road. But as you can see, TubeBuddy really helps down here too. You can see all these video tags. So what I would do if I was to create this video titled this, I would select these. Well, I'd probably do Spark Driver because this contains Walmart Spark and it has driver. Delivery, uh, don't need that one. Delivery driver, maybe this one. And then let me show you it in the back office. Let me go and click upload video and then I can drop in this little test file for the amount of the movie that I already had edited already. Um, as you see, I already titled it how to find video keywords for YouTube video ideas. And then I can scroll down here to where the tags are and I can start to work on the tags. So this is a really great thing about TubeBuddy. It gives you all of these tags and it sorts it by relevance. Um, so let's take that one, let's take that one. Um, anything that's like 60 or above, usually I do. Um, that one was lower, but I take that one too. Uh, keyword research for YouTube, sure. How to find trending topics for YouTube videos. Trending topics, let's take that one too. Now I can start to write the description of the video so I can write keywords that I already took or tags that I already took and make them into keywords. In this video, I want to discuss and how, oh, I messed that up. I'll fix that in a minute. Let me find some more keywords and how to find trending topics for your YouTube. Let's see, it has to be exactly the same for your YouTube videos and walk you through all the keywords, the keyword research I do to create a video and then stick around through until the end to let's go find some more keywords take that one how to find keywords for YouTube videos how to keyword research tutorial keyword tool since I'm talking about TubeBuddy YouTube keyword research 2022 I really hate that it jumps back and forth like this uh, keyword research tool for SEO I guess that'll work Video ideas for beginners. I'm at 381 characters out of 500. So then let me go down, how to find trending topics. Oh no, that doesn't work. Video content ideas for YouTube beginners, that would work. So I'm at 425 out of 500 now. Let me use some of these and put them back into my description and turn them into keywords. So stick around until the end to learn how to research, validate, and plan a video so that you can get more, let's see what this said, how to get more views on YouTube. So, so that you can get more views on YouTube So as you guys will see, this is exactly the same title and exactly the same description. The only difference with the description is I've added in chapters and I've added in my socials, but everything else is exactly the same. So I hope that this shows a very good example of what it is to do keyword research and plan a whole entire video around the keyword research that you did. 
Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps push this video out to more people so that way I can help more people that are looking to do exactly the same thing that you're trying to do, which is grow a YouTube channel. Consider hitting subscribe to stay tuned for that video that I'll be posting soon for one of my videos getting 54,000 views, one of my videos getting 25,000 views, a couple getting around 15,000. Um, and all of these are because they rank in Google search and they are the number one video that shows up on Google search. So hit the bell and get notified to stay tuned for that. But thanks for watching this video to this point. If you have watched it all the way to this point, uh, let me know if it was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions and geez, the cats are like going crazy. Um, it's like one o'clock in the morning right now but yeah i'm gonna finish editing this video get it all up for you guys to see and i hope that you guys have a great rest of your day or night depending on what time you watch this thanks for watching this all the way through and take care i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye